Hey God, what's up? So this is a message for the sign of Pisces, manifesting in money, career, and business. My name is Ashley. I help people through the spiritual pathway to success. Today, Spirit of the Lord, we ask that you come with us and bless us with a message that will help the Pisces on their journey to manifesting more life through money, career, financial success, um, and business success, or whatever, it, however it applies to their lives. I ask for a message that they resonate with and that will help them lead them to more light and more life on their path okay this will be a five card spread and it is for the week of april 17th now the first card <clears throat> okay your cards are trying to come out come on cards five cards for the sign of pisces manifesting and money, career, and business. Thank you. Because clearly I wasn't just picking the cards. Five, five. And literally, the will of fortune. Then we have the five of swords and the five of wands. Five, the number of change. Five means a lot of things. I look at the number of five as the number of change. Five and five is ten, which is completion. The will of fortune. Okay, I didn't mean to take this. See, look, and then you have a 10 right there. Bottom of the deck, the lovers. So we have Will of Fortune, the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Chariot in Reverse, Not Taking Action, the Ten of Swords, the Hangman, and the Lovers. Hey, Pisces. So as you can see, I pulled some Oracle cards for you um, because the spread was quite the spread we started off with the will of fortune so you're going through a change a major change in your life and it's not being so kind to you it's like a change is being forced upon you because what goes up must come down or it's just a phase in your life that must come to an end you have conflict the five of swords and the five of wands represents conflict fighting disagreements discords voicing your opinion not actively listening competition instead of collaboration instead of working together working against each other it's just conflict and disagreement and a lack of trust and hurt stemming from it and it's causing you to have a lack of will with this chariot in, in reverse you're losing energy and willpower and, and the will to do whatever it is that you were trying to do this is supposed to be money career and business this could be in anything though this could be in money this could be in career this could be in business but it also can be in your relationships as well but whatever this disagreement is and this discord and this competition, unhealthy competition and, and hollering and screaming and not listening to each other, voicing your opinions, want to be right. It is, it must happen for you to push you to a change that's happening in your life. But you're responding to it by being hurt. This ten of swords represents hurt. Being hurt by something ending. Something is ending in your life and you're hurt by it. You know, look at this. This, this agreement is hurting you. It is hurting you and you're losing the will to live. You're losing your will to live. Not, I'm sorry. Your will to move forward. Maybe even live. Your your will to move forward and the energy you have in life. You're losing it. You're losing yourself in this battle right here. In this argument. In this, 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 this unhealthy partnership. You're losing yourself. But spirit is saying, with the hangman, go within. Find yourself. Seek new insight. Seek new clarity. New beginnings is available to you. When something ends, something starts. It's the it's law. It's law. It's universal law. When something ends, it's the beginning of a new phase, of a, a new journey, a new life, something. So go within and seek the positive and find yourself. The lover's card, it usually rep it could represent a partnership with someone else, but this card also represents the partnership that you have with all aspects of yourself. Find yourself. Remove yourself from this discord and this disagreement, this change. Embrace this change and use it as an opportunity to find yourself. Go within. Seek the spiritual part of yourself. Seek the worldly part of yourself and embrace all aspects of yourself until you know who you truly are. Until you find your inner God and you know your God and you are the will. You don't need to lose the will. You are the will. You don't need to. Uh, don't allow this to tear you down to the point where you lose the will to follow life and be live and live the life that you were created to live more life is available to you light is available to you abundance is available to you 
and new opportunities are available to you if you go within and you find yourself. And the Oracle cards, they wanted to pull more than one. And you pulled all red Oracle cards. And I'll just read it from the Oracle book. This, this is a book. Um, it's about the root chakra. It's about passion and energy and the root the first shock relates to the source of your energy and how you are building your foundation think of the root chakra as a platform the red cards represent the support you have created or are you or you are creating for your future so what you're going through right now is necessary for you to create a better future for yourself sometimes we have to be forced into change sometimes we got to be forced to do something that we don't want to do because um or that we're not happy with to get out of complacency so the first card is the perfection card can you see this perfection it just relates to um, protection and an inner conflict between wanting to look good and having compassion for others. It says to remain kind and unattached to any outcome. Sometimes being right and letting others know that you are right may not be what needs to, uh, to happen at that time. Sometimes you just need to remove yourself from the situation. But this says support the understanding you desire. Support others. You don't always have to be right. Even if you are right, sometimes you just got to let people be. And remove yourself from the situation instead. Then you have discovery. The discovery card is saying, in the past, you may not have been fully prepared to face facts. Being willing to take the journey regardless of the outcome will prove rewarding. Get ready to carry a commitment through to completion. And then you have the acceptance card. The acceptance card is, Innocence and an inability to see your own gifts, as indicated, that is showing right here with the chariot in reverse and the ten of swords and the loss of the will. Um, but it says you're, you have the inability to see your gifts and the protection of your spirit guides and the increase in esteem and confidence and good luck coming to you. But know that if you go within and you find yourself, that you are protect your spirit guides are protecting you. Increase is flowing to you, and you can be the confident person that you are if you go within and you find yourself and you seek that insight and clarity you need, and you remove yourself from this this unhealthy attachment. You remove yourself from this argument. It could. I don't know who's causing the argument, but it is necessary for you to make a change in your life. It is the cycle of change and it's forcing you to find yourself. This change, sometimes bad things happen for our good or hard things, challenging things happens for our good. It's pushing you to go within and it's pushing you to find yourself and make a decision to be who you truly are, to embrace all aspects of yourself and to evolve. Okay, this is for the sign of Pisces for the week of April 17th. Thank you for listening. Please like, subscribe, and comment.